YouTube, what is going on? Back with my latest video, back with another mystery box video. So this one is another golden ticket uh, mystery box from Chrono Toys. I'm hoping, hoping that we get one of these golden tickets in here so we can get one of those top grails. There was a lot of really cool ones in there. So without further ado, let's crack open this box and see if we got one. Here we go. All right, guys, before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos. And as always, if you're new to this channel, welcome. Hit subscribe button down below as well so you update my most recent content. And hit that bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So like I said, this was a Chrono Toys um, Golden Ticket Mystery Box, which means if you get one of the top grails, it's going to be a Golden Ticket like Willy Wonka in here so hopefully we got one of those in there i want to put a picture right up here so you guys can see what the top grails were uh the top grails were the uh, jolly roger the misfit fiend the uh colonel sanders freddy funko which is the one i one of the ones i want the most the queen amidala which is also nice the lot so disney store exclusive which is really really dope james rhodes sheldon uh there's a conan star wars ichigo bam bam and the one I think I want the most, which is Baby Milo uh, from Bathing Apes. So, really excited to open this up. Um, like I said, uh, I got four of these, so we're hoping that one of the four of these is a golden ticket. Now, I don't know if you get a Funko Pop as well, like it's, it's three Funko Pops and then a golden ticket, or if it's four with like you know like a, a cheap one and then a golden ticket with that. So, we will see. Um, Let's see what we got in here. I know my boy the Luau got a golden ticket, so a shout out to him for that. So it looks like we have four boxes in here. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, hoping that means something good. Oh, I thought it was a golden ticket. It was a piece of the cardboard was all. So I'm just gonna do these one by one. I don't see a golden ticket in here, so maybe it's one of these boxes. Um, they're individually boxed up. So if I'm not gonna get one of the grails, hopefully something that fits in the collection. And I do believe the value is at least guaranteed. I think they were 20 or 25 dollars. I don't really remember off the top of my head. So let's get right into it. Let's see what we got. Hit that like button for some good luck. And let me make sure I don't use this box cutter to break this open too much. So individually wrapped. I try not to see it. All right, guys. It's bubble wrapped. Is this? I feel like it's got a protector on it, which I don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing. Oh no. This one feels like a cardboard box, so I think it's either probably gonna be Wally -E or E, or maybe there's an Avatar one, I think. Let me see. First one. There we go. Uh, the Avatar Spirit Ang. So, I do not have this pop at all. Um, so, I do have the E and Wally -E right there, if you guys can see. I think this is the third one they've done this way. So, now I think I have the complete set of the Earth Day ones. Um, so, if you guys aren't familiar, as you can see, it is like a cardboard. Uh, box. It's 20% uh, figure. The figure is 20% recycled material, and the box is 80%, and then the window is 100%. I, you know, I kind of wish they did all the boxes like this. I mean, I don't really know why they couldn't be earth friendly or whatever. Um, I try to recycle and do my part, so it's cool to see them doing the same. Um, this is a special edition sticker. I think it's a box lunch exclusive. Um, it also does glow in the dark. Avatar is definitely uh, top three, top five. Uh, Nickelodeon shows ever, um, maybe even the argues the best, and uh, really cool to get another pop from the collection. I have almost all of them now. I still haven't gotten Azula yet. I'm still holding out that I'm gonna walk into GameStop one of these days and it's gonna be there because it did restock. Uh, but we're gonna check and see what this guy is going for on the Funko app. So give me one second, I'll tell you how much it's going for. Wow, okay guys, so this Spirit Ang was a box lunch exclusive. It says going for $41, so I actually did check on Pop Price Guide as well, just to be sure, and it also says $41, so looks like this is a $41 Pop Guide, which is pretty surprising. Um, I missed out on this one, I guess I missed when it dropped, um, but $41 for this one is a excellent start. Uh, even without having a golden ticket, I'm okay with that, because it's a Pop that fits in the collection, and we definitely got more than our value, so we're off to a good start, and we got three more to go, guys. So let's open up box number two and hopefully our uh, good fortunes continue so let's see if we got something good in here that pops really dope though like i, I watched the whole season series of avatar I watched the whole series of Korra, 
and uh, that's definitely a memorable uh, moment from the series. So definitely a cool one. I'm trying so hard not to look at this and still get the tape off. So I did not see it. Let's see what we got here, guys. And number two. So this was one. This was not cardboard. So it's gonna at least be a little bit of a surprise. Uh, they really do a good job of wrapping these. So if you order from Chrono Toys, your stuff's gonna get there uh, pretty safely. So number two. Oh man, another Yoda. Uh, or Grogu, I should say. Now we have the Child Force Wheeling Pop right here. Uh, this is another special edition sticker. Um, I'm not getting into the collecting the Grogu Baby Yoda Pops. Uh, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. He's cool on the show. Um, you know, I, I understand after watching the show why people are so infatuated with him, but I'm not going down that rabbit hole. It's a pretty uh, heavy Funko Pop as well. This one's pretty dope though, if, if I gotta say, if any of the, the Child Pops this is probably one of my favorite ones. The you know the motion of him uh, doing the force um, definitely pretty cool to see. Um, I would say this is probably the best uh, Baby Yoda Grogu pop out there. And um, yeah, I'm not mad at it. I just I'm not collecting these, so uh, this will probably be available if anybody's looking for it. But this was a Walmart exclusive from uh, this past year, 2020, and it's going for a total of $21. So definitely got our value back on that pop as well. No complaints. And uh, like I said, it's a cool looking pop. It's just not what I'm collecting at the moment. So, let's see if number three gets back to our wheelhouse. Hopefully we get like a nice Disney one. Um, I don't really know. So, it looks like they're getting a lot of store exclusives in these Chrono Toys boxes um, outside of the Grails. I don't really know if there's any store exclusives I've missed out on other than Azula, which I know has restocked recently overseas. And uh, I would think there's a possibility they got some in the stock. So, I'm hoping that it's in here now the pop that pops come down a lot in value it's about 30 40 dollars now when it was like a hundred and something dollar pop so it's definitely possible because it doesn't have to be in the grail list so let's see what we got oh okay so this is iron man um i do not have the iron man black light bungo pop so this was a target exclusive uh black light pops seem to be all the rage now which these were the start of it and uh people were extremely extremely hype about them and these didn't really have too much of resale value but now that the uh funko shop ones have skyrocketed uh, the carnage and the ghost rider maybe these these ones will start taking off as well um i think they're really well done um there's a cinderella one that's supposed to be coming out soon um that i may try to track down some of them the cheshire cat maybe the mad hatter um, those ones will probably look pretty cool with black lights. Um, but this one's cool. Iron Man, it's not a bad looking one at all. Like I said, it's one of the ones I passed on. Um, I really only wanted Thor uh, and Doctor Strange. Um, somehow I ended up with Captain America. And I think I gave uh, my Thor away to my cousin. But there you guys go. The Iron Man black light. Let's see what he's going for. Like I said, I haven't checked the values in these in a while. I know they were pretty hype, but I don't know if they've gone up in value at all. So, got $23 for this Iron Man Funko Pop. Like I said, it's a Target exclusive from 2020. So, all things considered, some dope pops so far. Uh, I'm really happy with that Ang, but let's see if we can finish this off with a bang and get a golden ticket. So, guys, we had our last box right here. Hopefully, there's a golden ticket in there. Like I said, I really want to get that Baby Milo Pop. Um, I would not be mad at getting Queen Amidala or Lotso either, but... Or that Colonel Sanders one. Um, I think that Colonel Sanders one was the tier one, so you had to get like a tier one golden ticket. So the way they do it, I think it's three or four different tiers, and the golden ticket you get will say um, what tier you got. So hopefully there's no golden ticket here. All right, guys, so at this point, I think I'm just hoping for Azula. All right, maybe there's one. No. All right, guys, so let's see if we can get Azula in here. Final pop. Oh, who's this? Oh, Michael Scott. Okay, I'm all right with this. So this is the Michael Scott uh, from The Office. This is the um, episode where he's playing basketball against, was it Jim or Dwight? It was one of two. I think it was Dwight. Um, but this very, very cool. This is a Child's uh, Collectibles exclusive. I don't know if there's a chase for this one. If you guys know, drop down in the comment section below. Uh, but this was a Child's one I, I passed on just because I have enough Michael Scott. Uh, I think I have three of them, which is, you know, three more than I needed, or two more than I needed. And uh, this is cool, though. It might fit into my Jordan collection. He's almost in, like, the Jumpman pose. Um, I like it. It is not bad at all. Um, you know, maybe this will be a keeper. So I I'm not mad at this pull at all. So there you guys go. The final pop today is Michael Scott. Uh, let's see what he's going for. Like I said, it's a Chalice exclusive. It's going for a total of $41, which is... That's pretty crazy as well. So $41 for this Michael Scott Funko Pop. 
it's pretty surprising and uh, I'm not mad at that one at all. So there you guys go. We did pretty good with value despite not getting a golden ticket. So I'm pretty pleased. We definitely got our money back and some pretty cool pops to show for it. So uh, let me know what you guys thought, what your favorite pull was in the comment section below. I'm going to have to go with that uh, Ang pop though if it's my favorite, but let me know yours. Uh, here's the total value as far as how we did with the Funko Pops. As always, if you have not already, hit the like button down below, comment, share, subscribe if you're new. Check me out on my second channel at Savage Breaks where I do Pokemon and sports cards. And also check me out on my Instagram where I uh, you know, post a whole lot of different updates as well at The Pop Savage. You can stay connected there too. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I do appreciate your support as always. Until next time, I'll see you later.